Never once did I think I should call my temp agency and explain what happened. Perhaps, like, I could get a raise or be moved from this horrible place. Instead, I was like, I'll teach myself phones. <laughs> The temp agency sends over the next temp. This shows you sort of where they were pulling from to, to staff this position. It's a woman named Tanisha. Um, Tanisha uh, always had one curler in her hair. And she told me that she had a kid and she'd seen a lot of things. She's just told me that I'm going to marry a man with dark hair. She looks up from the cards and says to me with sympathy, and soon after he's going to die. <laughs> And then she adds, almost as like a, um, an encouraging afterthought, or it can maybe be a divorce. Um, this story is called The Beauty of Therapy by Charles Sanchez. I know that if I tell him that I drink almost every day and whatever's handy, it'll sound like I have some sort of a problem. <laughs> and I know that a drinking problem is not cute. And I want this poster boy to think that I'm cute. <clears throat> That's actually a good therapist story. I mean, like, that's a good, the therapist making a house call, can you imagine? I don't, I mean, I've been in therapy, I cannot imagine that. Erna, <laughs> where are you? Where are you? <laughs> when I moved to uh, Toronto, it was in 1996, uh, I heard about antidepressants were like kind of a big deal, and I really wanted to try them because I thought the fact that Prozac was out there meant that we were about to enter Orwellian times, oh and the government was now controlling the way our minds thought, and we were just supposed to shut down our pain and our anguish and become very good consumers. And I would say this very loudly at a bar, you know, while <laughs> in between bongs and lines and shots, <laughs> and while telling the guy I was currently dating that he would never love me enough. <laughs> I took them for two months uh, and noticed that uh, if someone touched me gently on the arm, I felt nothing. I didn't care about both the future or the past. <laughs> and I deemed that problematic. <laughs> Yeah, because we're socially awkward, clearly.